Okay, we're back here with character modeling, working on the jacket, or his, uh, his shirt rather, it's not really a jacket. And uh, we're gonna add some detail around the front. If we come over here and take a look at our character, we can see it's kind of split here at the bottom. This is just sort of a, a rough design idea. I think what might look a little bit more interesting is to have a few little gaps here where the buttons are sort of pulled a little tight over his belly where he's uh, maybe eating a few too many donuts or something and kind of create that sort of stretched look on the lower part of the shirt here. So to do that, we're going to go in and grab the vertices and we've currently detached this in the previous video so it should be coming apart like that. We can see that our gaps are uh, a little too far apart I think for what we want. Let's just control Z on that. Let's go in and add some isoparms and create a little bit more resolution in here. I'm going to right mouse click, select isoparm and we can come in here and just add holding down the shift key, just click and drag, adding a few more isoparms here on the lower area. This is going to help maintain the shape that we want when we convert this over to polygons. Let's go ahead and add another one up here. I think that's looking okay. Let's go ahead and insert those. That gives us enough to work with to create that uh, button effect that we want. So let's right mouse click and we'll say we've got uh, a button right about here. So let's grab this and start pulling it apart. And grabbing this one. You can drag that over here a little bit. And we can drop down a couple more. Maybe get one right here on his belly. Open that up and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this uh, connected right now. And we'll just have two areas here where it's opening. Uh, I think we can leave these all buttoned up. And we're going to create a little overlap right now. Just uh, grabbing this one and pulling it over and bringing it out in front of the other. Doing the same thing down here. Pulling that out a little bit. And I can come in here and just sort of check that. I think uh, I want to go ahead and grab that one and pull it over. That's the inside one. Kind of close this up a little bit more. Okay. So we'll have a couple buttons showing right here that we'll see. Uh, he's got a tie on that's going to be kind of covering up this area right here. Okay, let's go to isoparm and just grab this one here on the side and pull it over. And this is going to uh, create our area for uh, kind of extruding out. Uh, it's gone all the way down our collar here, which is uh, kind of what we want. All right, so we've got that. We'll do the same thing over here. Win that over and insert those. And before we convert this over to a polygon, I've got some faces here that should probably be divided up just a little bit more. Uh, we don't usually want to see this kind of uh, rectangular face. We want to kind of square them off a little bit more. So let's go ahead and grab the isoparms here and divide these in half. Let's go all the way around, holding down the shift key, just click and drag about midway. And our last one right here. Looks good. Go ahead and insert those so that's divided up nicely. I could probably add one more right here on the shoulder. Divide that up, and I think even we'll add that other one here on the collar that I think was missing before. Insert those. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. All right. 
And I think the last thing we want to do before we convert this over, I want to grab, uh, to make the belt here, I want to grab a uh, curve off of here. So I'm just going to select that. And under Edit Curves, we're going to duplicate that surface and center the pivot on it, pull it down. So we've got that to work with at a later date to create the belt. All right, so back here to our shirt. Let's just uh, drag a marquee over that and go ahead and delete the history on it. That breaks the connection with that curve. And we can uh, go ahead and save this. So you've seen as. And a version up here to two. We should probably be up a little bit higher than that right now. Uh, this is the fourth video, so if you've got four saves, uh, you should be on version four. I'm running a little bit behind here. Okay, so with the shirt selected, I'm going to come under Modify, Convert, NURBS to Polygons, open up the option box to that. And we want to use control points. It's going to quad everything off nicely, and we'll just tessellate it. And it's actually inside there. Let's open up our outliner. So we've got the NURBS to Poly right there. There's our torso. Let's go ahead and just hide that selection right there. And this is our uh, polygon torso now. So you see that it held its shape quite nicely and converted over really well. Everything's divided up pretty evenly. Let's go ahead and call this poly torso. There's our curve down there that we're going to use for the belt in a later video. But we can uh, come in here now, close that up, and uh, actually some of these edges I think could have been pushed out a little bit more. Oh, they're not bad. Uh, they're just kind of sitting right there in the corner. We've got a little bit of a, a area here that's kind of folding back on itself, so we're going to have to take a look at why the that's going on. Probably clean that up a little bit. All right, and we still have our original NURBS torso, so uh, you don't want to delete that. Hang on to that. Uh, if you find out that there's some problems like this that are too difficult to come in and correct on polygons, that it's going to take too long to fix those, you can always go back to the NURBS one and make some corrections over there, edit it, and then try and convert it over again to polygons and see if that fixes it. I don't see the problem over here on this side, so something is a little bit different with the points over here. So I think what I may end up doing, it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, cut things in half on this character just because we now have something a little stylized right here. We may have to detach the bottom part uh, cut the top part in half and then connect it together and then reattach it to the bottom. It's not a big deal. We're probably going to have to do that anyways once we build the arms so we're not uh, connecting arms. We just do that once. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just select the faces on the top here from about this point up and come under our polygon menu set, and we're going to extract those. So they're now separate pieces. See that there? And with this selected, I'm going to go to Faces, come to the front view, and I'm going to delete. So just run that over right to the center. Looks like I got it this time. And hit Delete. OK. So that looks better. I'm just going to check everything over here, see if we don't have any other kind of weird issues. We've got a little bit of uh, intersecting happening right here with the collar. So I'm going to correct that now so I don't have to do that on both sides. So I just grab some of the points here, push them back. So we've got a little bit of a issue here with it flipping. So it may have actually been a little better to have gone in and corrected this on the NURBS. 
And I'm just gonna quickly pull these out here to the other side. So you guys can just see how this uh, would get fixed in a situation like this. So converting from nerves to polygons, not always as clean as you'd like it to be. I think overall it's sort of worth it in the end just to get the shapes that you want instead of kind of struggling to create those soft shapes and curves with a polygon. You can, uh, I'm just gonna suffer through a little bit of uh, the cleanup here. And again, we could have corrected some of this stuff on the on the nerves before converting it over. All right, so it's looking better. Cleans that area up. I had sort of a, a hard point right there on my curves. I probably needed another curve in there to sort of soften that out. So I think that's where the confusion came from. All right, and just grab some of these points and pull them in a little. And just spacing them out. Okay. All right, so it looks pretty decent. Just kind of evening out the edge of the collar there. All right. So since I kind of messed with the edge right here, uh, we're going to have to sort of correct that before I copy over. Yeah, I've got this edge right here that uh, is going to have to get pulled down a little bit. Uh, we're not going to be able to do that while it's still cut in half. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to my front view. Since I messed up the collar right here in the back, uh, what we want is all the vertices lined up on the origin. So I'm going to drag a marquee over all of those vertices along the edge. And I only want them to come up to the point here where the shirt comes together. I don't want to be grabbing the front part of the collar there. I do want the back part. So I'm going to shift select these on the back, making sure that I've got all of them. Put in that one. Hitting R on the keyboard, I'm going to scale them first. That's going to line everything up straighten them out. Then I'm going to go to W on the keyboard, hold down the X key. This is going to snap it to the grid and I'm just going to snap it right over to that center grid. So you should see all the vertices lined up on the origin right there. And go back to object mode. I'm gonna delete the history on that and save it. And we're going to mirror the geometry over to positive X. And we'll need to come in here under the channel box. There's the polymer one. We're going to need to reset that threshold for the merge to 0.01. And you can see it adjusted some of the lines right there that were coming together. All right, let's make sure everything is correct here. Uh, we had a couple pop open on the back there, so it sort of tells me I didn't have everything lined up the way I needed it. So I've only got a couple that are open right here. So I think what I might do is just merge these. Typically I would go back and just redo the mirror after lining those up. And we can just come under here and put the merge tool out on the and merge those very quickly. Let's merge the vertices all the way down here. And there we go. So the next time uh, I may need to cut this in half and mirror it over, I'll have to make that correction. So I've got some intersecting going on here with the collar into the shoulder. That's going to have to get fixed as well as the area up under here. 
So I think overall, uh, we probably don't need that in there. So let's go ahead and just grab the faces. Then we'll click on that one, and it's going to send it all the way around, and I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. That's probably going to be the quickest way to clean that up. Uh, we didn't need that extra sort of fold in there. Okay. And we can grab some of the, the vertices in here. I'm going to go into wireframe. Grab these points here, as well as over here. Back to shaded mode. Grab these points here, making sure I've got the same ones on either side. And go ahead and kind of pull those up. And I think scale them in just a little bit so they're not flaring out. All right, probably do the same thing with these points here. Pull them up a little bit just so they're not intersecting. And I think a couple of these points here could probably go ahead and come down. All right, so let's go ahead and pull these down well as these. There we go, that's starting to fit a little bit better around the collar. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this to the lower part of the shirt. So selecting both of those, I'm going to combine them. And they're still not uh, merged yet, so let's grab the, the vertices on here. the marquee and we double click on this we should be able to set the threshold uh, to 0.01 and merge those okay and those are all merged now okay so that kind of fixes the collar up now we didn't have the cleanest uh, conversion uh, when we switched over from NURBS to polygons so that cleans that up, and in the next lesson, we're going to start shaping out the arm socket here to start extruding out the sleeve, and we'll do that in the next lesson.